kind of old, True. my life's kind of boring, also but I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas number seven. I can't believe it. I'm gonna say that every time. Like, it just, it's going by so fast. I just finished getting ready. I styled my hair a little bit differently today. I used my Dyson, and I feel like I like this a lot better. I feel like I'm really vibing with the bangs right now. And, like, I don't know. I was looking in the mirror, and I was like, I don't, I don't know if my hair has looked this good in a long time. I'm really feeling it. So I'm like, okay, whew. I feel pleased. I feel glad that I made the decision. I think I was just like trying to figure out. I, I feel like when I do the round brush too much like that, it becomes a little too like 90s bangs. You know what I mean? And this is more like curtain bangs. I kind of like drip blow dried them down like that and they kind of flipped them out. So anyways, no one asked, but that's the newest in the bang saga. I'm wearing fake glasses right now because I think it looks cute with the outfit. I am getting ready to film a couple main channel videos. This is definitely a super big like catch up filming day. I haven't filmed a main channel video. I don't even know how long and I haven't posted one in like almost two weeks, which is so rare for me, but I just got sick and vlogging this happened and I just needed to rest. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna catch up today and I have this cute little, uh, this is like one of my last rented newly items, this cute little sweatshirt that says lucky and then I thought I might throw on this little brown and red and like, I don't know what color sort of like autumn winter type of skirt to go with it and then like some boots. I'm not going anywhere today that I know of, but you know, it's just for funsies. And I think also tonight we might do our little like Netflix holiday movie night. We'll see, Drew's feeling a little bit better, but he's not like fully better yet. So we'll see what ends up happening, but just wanted to say hi and good morning. I've been doing laundry. I've been stripping the bed, washing the sheets. I've been watering all of our plants. I've lived like an entire life and I think it's 11 a.m. I'm gonna keep this energy and this momentum and this like ADHD hyper focus going and we will catch up in a bit. All right, we're taking a little break for lunch. I tried a new foundation today. I tried the, it's like a, I bought like a small size of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter or whatever it's called. I feel like it's breaking up on my face so horribly. I'm creasing under my eyes. Like it looks terrible on my skin. And I did all my skin prep in advance. I used a primer. I set it with a powder. I'm just genuinely shocked. Like it looks terrible. So definitely would not recommend. But um, we're taking a little break for lunch. And listen, I definitely at the end of last year had a problem with Postmates, Uber Eats, whatever, and like fully relying on it when I didn't want to cook or we didn't have groceries or whatever the case. And like now <laughs> we've gotten back into it because at the hey, beginning of last year, didn't we like mind delete? <laughs> we deleted Postmates and DoorDash last year or at the beginning of this year. But then we discovered that the Uber app, like which we use to like obviously get around town and stuff, also has Uber Eats attached to the app. So then we just found a loophole and we started using that. And like I would say the first half of the year it wasn't as bad. And then just like listen, we went through stuff this year, okay? Like things happened, whatever. I'm sick. <laughs> Drew is sick. All that to say, I feel like next year we really have to work on not ordering food because number one, it's such a waste of money. Number two, it's usually always cold by the time it gets to you and it's just like, oh, it's so hard living somewhere with so many places you can order food in like a couple mile radius, so anyway. We ordered from this local spot and I've never gotten a sandwich like this from there before. Yeah, it's really good. Buttery. What? Toast the bread and it's very like buttery. Ooh, but I ended up getting like a chicken pesto sandwich, I think. Like it's supposed to be like a panini, but it kind of looks more like a grilled cheese. And they have the best onion rings. So of course I have to get some onion rings. So here is my sandwich and my onion rings. It looks delicious. We got like a little pesto, avocado, chicken, something action going on. And then this smoothie, I don't even like acai smoothies that much really but I don't know what it is about this smoothie it is so delicious I ordered it one time like I don't know a year or more ago when I was sick and it just really hit the spot and now I get it like every time it's so so good and that is our lunch and then we're probably gonna watch some Bob's Burgers holiday episodes of course cheers let's test it out mm. I don't even really know what's in this I know it's like acai maybe like strawberries Definitely some kind of berries, definitely blueberries, you can tell. And then like maybe apple juice, but man, it hits every single time. 
All right, it is actually fully the next day at 5.17 p.m. It is pitch black outside. Um, we're morbidly depressed about it. But yesterday, I just like, I don't know. I'm not sick anymore. I haven't been sick for over a week now, but I just have like this residual, I don't know, cough and like I'm just tired. I still feel like I'm getting hoarse all the time. Like if I talk too much and yesterday I did like a lot of talking because I was bulk filming and like I was just exhausted. So we literally laid on the couch from 2 p.m., 2.30 p.m. until like we went to bed at 10 o'clock. Like it, it was crazy. We were just dead, exhausted. So anyway, we decided to put on our Christmas pajamas finally. Drew even has his on. <laughs> I'm wearing them. <laughs> but we've been getting like lots of packages, obviously, because it's that time of year. I want to make sure nothing's showing. And I got this package from Le Labo, and I was like, wait, I didn't buy anything from Le Labo. I bought Drew one of their scents for his birthday, like a cologne, perfume, whatever you call it. It's unisex. And I was like, wait, what? And I was like, did you accidentally address this to me like when you were buying this for me for Christmas and Drew was like no I didn't get you that but no it was actually a um PR package from LTK or they used to be called like to know it now they're LTK and I've been using them recently to link some of like my favorite outfits and stuff I love that app by the way and they just sent me a PR package that was like congrats on your early success happy holidays looking forward to next year and like it was so nice so they literally got me Santal 26, which is like their most popular scent. This is a very expensive perfume. Is that the same size bottle? No, I think it's bigger. It feels really heavy. It even has my name on it. They went to the one in Venice. Ooh, merci. Ooh, merci. <gasps> it's a candle. Oh, even nice. better. You, I wish you could have seen Drew's face. He was like, oh my god, even better. Yes. Because the one, the oh cologne you got me, so we can good. both use. It's yeah, exactly. Good. The one that I got, one, well, I was like, oh man, like I just bought that for you. And now it's, I can already smell it. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's like the perfect unisex scent. Oh my God. And it has my name on it. That is so nice. Thank you so much to LTK for sending this over. That was so sweet. And I got a lip balm. I want to smell it. Does it smell like anything? I don't think so. Test it out. It's perfect, of course. You wanna try it? It's absolutely lovely. Oh my gosh, that was so unexpected, but thank you so much. I don't really get PR that much, um, so that was just really amazing and very, very, very generous and thoughtful. Thoughts on the lip balm? I needed it. He goes <laughs> My lips are chapped. <laughs> I feel like the best version of Drew is like the off-camera <laughs> version. But it's honestly kind of fun that like I only get to see it because he knows when he's like not on camera He does things that are like extra funny or just extra sassy or whatever it so good. Yeah, it does smell really good honestly anyway It's a little early, but I think we're gonna get started on making some dinner We thought out some chicken and we're probably just gonna do like chicken rice and veggies like very simple But my body is crying for some vegetables because since like being sick and even like going out of town and just having so many plans and doing so many things We've been ordering a lot of Uber Eats, like a lot. I think I mentioned that earlier in this vlog. We ordered coffee and then lunch and then sometimes dinner. Like it's just, it's too much. So we did do a grocery order. Was it last night? Late last night? Yeah. And we should probably go to like her. Yeah, we do need to like make a Trader Joe's run. We were just waiting for Drew to be like 100% better, you know? But yeah, I think we're gonna make a little dinner and then it's gotta be like a, a Netflix Christmas movie night, doesn't it? Like we've waited too long. We're already over halfway through Vlogmas at this point and we need to do a Christmas Netflix movie review. Like those, you know, shitty, terrible, we, so bad they're good. Or we should go all the way and just do a Hallmark one. <laughs> I mean, we could. <laughs> should we just go into like, should we just full send it? Full on shit Christmas. Ugh. I love it so much though. When I was at Sierra and Stevens over the weekend. Drink, oh yeah. Mocktail? Yeah, we can make a mocktail. When I was at Sierra and Stevens over the weekend, um, they were talking about how they're not like super familiar with those movies. And they were like, do you have a recommendation? And I was like, boy, do I ever. I have a whole list for you. So we might have to uh, add to that list tonight. I can't believe how dark it is. So I think we're gonna start a little mocktail moment again. I think I'm gonna do the same exact thing I did last time. This angle is not very good. You're balancing on an advent calendar fully. Is that better oh thank you so we're gonna use i'm basically gonna do the same thing we're gonna use our little cran rosemary ice cubes 
in case you missed that vlog, I just froze some cranberries and some rosemary inside an ice cube tray. So we'll do and then we'll do, are these pomegranate things so good? We'll do some pomegranate arils. It's actually kind of nice because then you get like a little, a little crunch with your cocktail. Mocktail. Do you want some glitter in it? Sure. Okay. We're gonna use the edible glitter again. I might even do like a little bit more this time because last time I don't think it was enough. So I'm gonna do like, I think that was too much. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do more. Oh. <laughs> story of me and then we're gonna do I almost did this one last time but I tried the other one the other one was delicious but I mean this is probably just sparkling cider so it's gonna be great it's sparkling honey crisp apple juice if we know one thing about Drew love he loves his apple juice he is still sick by the way well not like sick but just recovering yeah. yeah here we go not as pretty of a color obviously Thank you. Oh, it's so much more glittery than Well, time. also, the other one was darker. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I don't even think we need the lime. We have some dehydrated limes because I was like, if I'm dehydrating oranges, I might as well do limes for when I did my garland. My little crafting day. But um, honestly, it looks so cute without them. It's not necessary. All right, so here we have it. I yeah. think you should be able to tell i don't know but in person they're so sparkly and pretty i think these even like are even prettier because you can see everything a lot better and i decided to do like a little martini glass can you see the glitter in that i think you can it's like glistening but it's also bubbling at the same time all right well, let's try it okay cheers cheers let's try it i'm like expecting it to be alcohol in it so. i know you like that i do like that he went Pretty good. That's like sparkling apple juice. What more could you want? If you're looking for, the reason we've been doing mocktails is just, well, number one, there's no reason, but number two, it's just like, when you're sick, the last thing you want is alcohol. And I'm just like, not in the place yet. Yeah, I was like kind of touching on it earlier, but this virus has been like totally different than any other virus I've had. I'm not sick anymore. Neither of us are sick anymore. We're just like, our bodies are run down. I don't know. But anyway, if you're looking for a good mocktail, we're this 35. is, <laughs> we're all so Definitely recommend this one as well. It's so good. Or just any sparkling cider and then just like jazzing it up a little bit. Like how Christmassy is that? It's so cute. I love it. Okay, dinner's almost ready and then we're gonna do some baking, but I thought I would show you my cute little hair clip that I literally just got approximately four minutes before I started filming this. But I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like little bows, little ribbons. Hello. I have to get a plate for the chicken. Some of us are working here. <laughs> I'm a, um, like, you know there's like a passenger princess? I'm like a kitchen princess. When Drew is in the kitchen, I'm not, I have not a single thought in my head. Anyways, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really cute. I got it on Amazon. I was influenced by Miss Bailey Payton or Bailey P on Instagram. She posted a link, a link, and a I. Link. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I snatched that thing up. Okay, time for dinner while the oven preheats. Look at that quick, like. 20 15 minute dinner or something like that not too shabby okay so the next thing we're gonna do is as you saw i preheated the oven because i saw a couple of little tiktok thingies and i was very curious about them so i saw this one tiktok i'll show it right here where you like take sugar cookies you roll them in sprinkles you kind of like par bake them as drew said and then you put the little christmas like festive cookies on top and it makes them really cute i really wanted the like christmas tree cookies or the reindeer ones they're snowman ones but none of the stores near me had them oh uh, yeah these on tiktok bottom <laughs> I found these like a couple weeks ago at Target, so we're just gonna use these. It's fine. I am lazy, so I'm gonna use tin foil that you use. Whatever works for you, okay? I would use parchment paper, but I simply do not have the energy to cut it. So we're gonna lightly spray this. Then we do like a little rolling station. So you're just gonna like roll them into little balls. Balls. And then you roll the balls into the sprinkles. So we're gonna do a little red and a little green. I did make a mess already. Who's surprised? <laughs> Not Drew. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're mixing them up. We're putting them on the tray. Okay, so 
got all our cookies made. We're gonna put them in for a few minutes because these sugar cookies take a few minutes longer than the elf cookies. And then also I think it's gonna help them like flatten down a little bit. And then he put the others on the top. So I don't know, we'll try it. Okay, another thing I saw with these same cookies is you like roll some of them flat and then you make them into an ice cream sandwich. So it's like a cookie ice cream sandwich type of thing. I only have one pack of these and honestly, I don't need multiple like dozens of cookies in my house. So we're just gonna make it work. So I'm gonna take like half of these. No, I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like eight of these I think. And then we'll do the remaining, what is that? Like 12 for the other ones. In case you're wondering what these are, this is gonna be my impromptu rolling pin because we don't have one. <laughs> So we're just gonna do our best. In the meantime, we will add these on top. I just freaking taped that down. Hold please, let's move. So you take your four minute baked cookies, then you stick your other cookies smack dab in the middle of those. They bake and they look all pretty. One short. Aww. That's all right. Okay. I mean, sure. <laughs> Not me rolling this with a can of Corona because we still have like six Coronas in our fridge from when I did a brand deal with them back in like July. <laughs> we just like, I don't know, the summer was over and then we didn't want to drink beer anymore. Okay. Now we're gonna gently move this to somewhere where like hopefully the shape can stay the same and not get too like messed up. I mean, those are gonna definitely combine, but like I can just cut it, right? There we have it. I, it will expand. So I'm just hoping that it will have like somewhat of a shape. And if not, then we can cut it when it comes out. So we'll put this in for like 10 minutes. Okay, we got the cookies out of the oven. They're setting um, and I'm just thinking now that I like go back in my memory, I don't know if they actually rolled the cookie dough out or these ice cream sandwich ones. So I may have just done that for literally no reason at all. Um, so to be determined, I think I messed that one up, but it's okay. We're just gonna experiment and go with like our own recipe, you know? So as it turns out, they did not in fact flatten them. They just kind of like barely pushed down on them. Um, so it's fine. We'll just, we'll make it work. All right, we've got it all Christmassy in here. We have the red light on, we have the garland lit up, we have the wreath lit up. We have these little candlestick thingies, but I think they're dead because we just tried to turn them on and they didn't work. Oh yeah, we can do our cute little village. houses. Cute. Christmas village. Precious. We got the tree all lit up. Oh, I love it. I've seen better creations. I don't know what happened here with her. Must have been like when I put it in the oven or something, but like I've also seen worse. So we're gonna let it cool a little bit and then put in the ice cream and then try our little cookie creations. Go TikTok. We have this like little piece right here. So honestly, it's not that bad. I mean, it's definitely thin, but I'm gonna put that face down, soften this, put that on it, put the top on it, and then like freeze it again for like 10 minutes. Okay, there we go. Spread her out. Let's get you in there. So we're just gonna like flatten it out. Then, you can't even see that. Like what the hell am I doing? Okay, then we're gonna put this janky top back on top of it. Okay. I'm gonna stick that back in the freezer for like 10 minutes. And then it's game time. Drew made a really good point and I actually thought it during the process as well. Like you could easily just make cookies and then put ice cream in between them. I don't know, like whatever. That just feels a little extra, but. The way that the people did it on Instagram was way more aesthetically pleasing than how I did it. Story of my life. One of us doesn't like sugar cookies, but has been trying to get his little paws all over these things. So we're gonna try it. Let's do it. Cheers. There's no kind of salt in the middle. It tastes like a sugar cookie. No. It tastes absolutely no different than any other sugar cookie, but it is really cute. It is a very adorable little setup. It would be cuter if it was like the reindeer or the Christmas trees or whatever, but it's still cute. Not bad. All right, here we have it. It looks terrible, okay? I don't want to talk about it. It's melting everywhere. I simply do not have time to like sit around and wait for this thing, so we're just gonna take a bite and see. It's a Miller ice cream. Oh, yeah. How'd you get up here? 
Mm. Oh, cookie crumb. I got the bay eggs. I'm new bay eggs. Not the bay eggs. Um, it's giving nothing. Like it's really. I mean, it's okay. I would much rather have like a chocolate chip cookie like or like, on vanilla. Like, yeah, it's just really boring. Not worth the effort. It's you know, the memories you made along the way. Not really the end result, I suppose. The cookies are good. So. At least, I, at least we have the cookies. All right, the time has come for us to pick a movie and Drew has discovered that we have Peacock and on Peacock they have, oh, it's like a Hallmark tab on, yes. on Peacock, got it. He just really wants to go full cheese. Round and round. <coughs> it's like a Hanukkah. Yeah, nice. Okay. Christmas on Cherry Lane. Christmas Isn't that the guy Lane. from Mean Girls? Yes. But that's a new one, the Cherry Lane one. We should just watch that one. It's probably oh like God, that's not giving me like you're inheriting a farm unless you like close this deal. You know, it's like small town girl, big city guy. Is that what you want to watch? I feel like that's like the trope. No. No, these are just shitty Christmas. <laughs> but that's the whole thing. Is it's like you know what I'm. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. It's like, you, you go back to your hometown and like, oh, there's this guy there and like, I don't know. Oh God. The mistletoe secret looks wretched and I must watch it. A song for Christmas? There's your farm. <gasps> Wait, Lucky Christmas has, um. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so scared. scared. I'm so excited. Isn't it that too? Yeah, they have all the Saved hey. by the Bell people. Isn't that one of the, the brothers? Yes, that's one of the Lawrence brothers. That's the oldest. Um, Joey. Whoa. Yeah, he's the one from Blossom. I was more of a Matthew girl myself. The Christmas heart. Oh yeah, see these are what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is to prove my point. A pop star becomes stranded in a small town in the dead of winter and finds refuge at a family's bel beleaguered dairy farm. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want. If you look at every single one of these descriptions, it's gonna be something like that. All right, we're doing it. We're doing a song for Christmas. Godspeed, everyone. Oh, oh God, it's so bad. It's so good. Oh, what are you playing over there? I have some lyrics I think might go with that. Okay, so movie's over. It's exactly what we expected. It's um it was bad. It was definitely bad. I will strongly recommend it if you are looking for just an almost unbearable Christmas movie. It's got the fake snow that's actually like shaving cream. It has a song, an original song, which was a real treat. Bad acting. I mean, just, yeah, bad acting. Like, you see, like, extras in the background, like, messing up or just doing, like, looking at the camera or just doing weird stuff. And it's just so good. Like, there were so many times where someone would say something or something would happen and Drew and I would just, we would, like, look at each other. Ugh. Can't recommend it enough, honestly. It was called A Song for Christmas. Yeah, if you have Hallmark, definitely check it out. If you are on the hunt, strongly recommend that one. It was it was a moment for sure. You know, we're singing. Oh God, we're like singing the song that was from the movie. It's so bad. <laughs> It is time. I look so tired. Like, we're literally dead right now. Oh, look how cute we are in our pajamas. <clears throat> we look so cute. Don't do that. Ah, <laughs> oh, here you we go. You can use your while that's toasting. Oh, yeah, I could. Okay, let's well, I can start. Open mine. Yeah, let's open ours. We're going to open our numbers I'm on 13 and 14. I'm on 19. God. 13 and 14 for me. Okay, I'm starting with the C's and he's doing the 30 days of Japan. Food. <gasps> Food? What is what? this? Okay, I'm seeing dark chocolate. It's looking like dark chocolate toffee. What are these? I've never seen these before. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm actually happy with this one. Oh, it's like soda? Ramen? Mmm. Mm. Okay, candy. Yeah. 
<laughs> More balls. Steve loves her balls. Every other day is solid milk chocolate. Rip off. Someone was like, maybe it's made for kids. And I'm like, where? It doesn't say that. It's not advertised for kids, but. You want me to open it? Yeah. Okay. I'm doing what the man said. He's making our toast back there. Ooh. What is that? It's like a gachapon thing. Yes. What is it? Who are you? Who are you? Someone will know. Here we go. Let's show it. Here is who he got. So if anyone knows who this is, let us know. But oh, she's cute. She's sleeping. Okay. She's Time to finish this off with the Bon Maman Jam Advent Calendar. Drew has our toast ready to go for the first time ever. <laughs> Besides, we had those little like French oh, bread yeah, Today we have <gasps> ooh cinnamon? caramel cinnamon spread. Mm, that tasty. sounds delish. Fourteen, right? Yeah, fourteen. This is cherry hibiscus flower spread. Oh, okay. So we got a little floral and a little caramel. All right, let's oh, try it. Chewy in the middle. Ooh. I definitely smell cherry, but I don't know if I smell hibiscus. And then this one's gonna be amazing. Caramel cinnamon. Oh my god, it smells like butterscotch. Do you even put this on toast? Like, what are we supposed to do with this? I mean, it's literally caramel. Or should we just go for it? Just go for it. Okay, I'm not gonna do a lot. What is it? Cherry, Cherry hibiscus, hibiscus flower. I can't smell anything. Me either. Oh. Every time. Hmm? <laughs> I just ate that candy. It's good. Yeah, really good. I'm tasting something. It's Maybe it's sweet. the hibiscus. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's good. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, cinnamon yes. caramel. Mm hmm. Okay. It'd be so good on an apple. Mm hmm. We should have done that instead. It's like 9 30 p.m. We're not doing all that. Mmm. Okay. This is amazing. Wow. All right. I think that's gonna do it for us. I'm spilling things. That's gonna do it for us and this vlog. Just taking his medicine. My palate cleanser. <laughs> his palate cleanser is Alka-Seltzer Al Al cold. <laughs> and, I'm tired you know, now. Same. Why do they get tired all of a sudden? Anyways, thank you guys for watching and for hanging out and enduring another boring vlog. Um, we actually like had plans that we were supposed to do yesterday, but we just weren't like a hundred percent yet. So anyway, we'll, you know, do some more fun things. We have time still, hopefully, but also this is just my life. My life we're is a little bit boring. <laughs> we're definitely gonna watch more movies. Because I, I would watch another one. If oh yeah, if it wasn't 9.30 or nine o'clock or whatever, I would genuinely watch another one because they're just so bad, but they're so good. It's like, I need more. So we're definitely gonna, you know, do more of that. So we'll see you very soon for the next vlog. Bye.